What's the deal, yo? This is DJ Muggs. You watching Beyond TV, man? Live from Los Angeles, California. As somebody, Soul Assassin, Cypress Hill, all day long, homie. Check it out. It's really going to the left as far as being an uh, avant-garde artist and doing art in this time place right now. To do a record we did is 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 pretty. Um, like they would probably say it's fucking, you know, risky. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like you, well, this just doesn't fit in any mold. You know, and I don't care to fit in no more, really. So I got a kind of a whatever attitude about this shit, you know what I mean? But I never got into this shit to be famous or make a lot of money. I really was somebody who just loved making music. And um, we got some success and, you know, all of a sudden we had to start sitting in front of cameras and talking and doing interviews. So you learn how to do that shit eventually. And um, I still I still got the passion, you know what I mean? And I still get inspired and still have the inspiration. Having all the success and money we made is, is a blessing. You know, I've seen an interview one time with Miles Davis, and they go, what do you miss? And he goes, having the inspiration and the motivation to want to do this, you don't have it no more. And just to be able to still have that and to feel fresh like I'm still 16 years old and, you know, it's, uh, just having that is a blessing. So as long as I got that, I'm just going to keep doing what the fuck I do. So what what's inspiring you today? Like a personal man inspiration I draw from, I don't draw it from music really I probably draw five percent of it from music I draw it from friends I draw it from conversation I draw it from cinema I draw it from other kinds of movie I draw it from things I see on the streets draw it from different art you know things I hear you know so all of it's just a little piece of the puzzle man and it, it affects you and it affects me in different ways too and, and this is my outlet for it mm -hmm. I don't got a therapist you know I don't go to therapy mm -hmm. I don't do no fucking pills, you know what I mean? Take no fucking Xanax or none of that shit to mellow me out. I just smoke a spliff and make some fucking music. That's your therapy. That's it. <laughs> so you said it's been fun uh, promoting this album in New York. Where do you get the livest crowds and the most obvious feedback, do you think? Man, it's a lot of good places, but at these days I'm really enjoying Europe again. Um, they don't get a lot of artists coming there. You know, like we in New York, you're gonna fucking three or four shows a night. Like last night was VH1, and you had Bobby Brown and all these cats performing. There was like three concerts, I think. You um, know, they don't get all those acts coming to Europe. A lot of big acts from here will go to the big festivals, but when you start hitting the clubs out there, man, it's the kids lose their minds like they've never seen it before. Just the appreciation of it is, is is great, and the respect level they have, you know, for musicians and things like that. A lot of brothers out here are jaded. You come to New York, a lot of times, 70% of your crowd is industry crowd, and nobody wants to act like they're having too much fun because they ain't going to be cool boys, you know what I mean? So that's a crock of shit, man. So I pretty much am feeling Europe. All these little you know, college cities that don't really get too many people, they have a, they have a good time, too. Mm -hmm. I think if you can go out to a show, you're going out to have a good time, man, and celebrate. Have some fun with your friends, make some fucking noise, have a drink or whatever your thing is, and um, stand around and be cool, man. Take your ass to the crib and watch TV or something.